Hello everybody, welcome to 48 Hours and this series is What's He Doing? What's He Done? Where Sean and I go through each and every goal in the Premier League this weekend and we tell you who is at fault for each one. They don't tell you that at the Premier League, but we tell you it here. Sean, who's up first? Brentford versus Liverpool. It is Brentford versus Liverpool, Sean, and it's not a great start for Brentford because Jota beats Regulon in the air, laying in Nunes. Counter-attack, cheeky dink, no defenders in sight. Regulon has to get to this ball scene as he's the one that's brought himself back in this defensive position. It's harsh, but fair, I say. Fair play. Now, Liverpool's second. It looks like McAllister's had like a world-class. Yep. Like he's just scored another world-class goal. But Christophe Hager has made it look world-class <laughs> by putting a foot in and not actually putting a foot in. Yep. He's sort of just been put on a spin cycle and then left to rinse. Yeah, it does look like Hager has been done a bit dirty here he's sort of like just it's like a dodgy touch from McAllister I don't think it's world class touch I think it's just like a lucky touch no Azure flicks it onto it does he really yeah oh, I didn't notice that so there's like he controls it and then Azure's foot comes in and just flicks it around himself fair enough my notes say Salad Salad just toying with Brentford at this point Collins got twisted up but Ben me didn't even want to play the guy's useless Sean he needs to be gone yeah he's not that bad just watched him it's Salah's breezing past him Ben me just goes you, you do it you, can you do it? Can, can one of you do it? No. It's your job. Follow him. He's the pass out option. Now, Tony getting his consolation goal. Mm -hmm. Of course. The, the must go in Tony goal. Standard. Tenor on it. And Canate. Oh, my word. This man is slip sliding around. Yeah, he's, there's just lo loads of slides at the moment. The Bravka's coming up as well. That's not even to mention how much we're going to bully Sheffield at the end of this, so stay tuned for that. No, Wissa hit him with a little Ronaldo chop. Mm hmm. And Canate went flying. That would have been a penalty if Tony didn't score. And just to crush Brentford a little bit further, Collins was determined to get on this score sheet, Sean. He's missed his clearance. He's completely air swung, completely missed it. And it's just laid Gakpo through at 4-1. Brentford are so on and off at the moment with their form. They need to figure this out. Tony's back. I know Liverpool are on absolute fire. But even Nunez is getting like cheeky little dinks over your keeper. Come on, you've got to sort this out. The live wire is plugged in. Up next is Burnley Arsenal. Sean, you're up first. Who's this? Now, his name's hard for me to say. I've got a slight lisp. I'm going to give it a go. Go on. Lorenz Asingon. Asingon. He's the only real guy to blame because it's nearly a no-faulter. But he, I had this as no fault. He could have stopped the cross. Yeah. I think. You think? He's just a bit slow to it and then doesn't close in. I think that's harsh. I think I'd give this no fault. No, guys. no, there is a fault. Because coming straight up, is Asignon. Now, normally at 48 hours, if you give the pen, you are at fault. But for the second time in our history, in what, 20, 20 episodes now, uh, it's actually the goalkeeper attempting to save it. Now, Trafford has been hitting this list regularly. This is bizarre, Sean. He dives the correct way, but stops halfway through and then carries on diving. And Saka, not a great pen. It's about a yard in the goal. Mm -hmm. So should be an easy save for him, especially considering he would have saved it if he kept going. So Trafford. What are you doing, sir? If you're going to get the glory, go get the glory. Don't stop. Good Can't luck pronouncing the next one then, boy. Can I get paid? The next one's real easy to pronounce. Go on. It's James Trafford. You're giving this Trafford? Yeah, beat you at the near post. Way too easy. No, I'm sorry. I can't, I, Way can't too be. easy. This is Delcroix. No, it's not. He just seemed lost in the goal. You didn't get beat at like, his near post. He smashed it over his head. Yeah, but it's at his near post. He wasn't at the near post. He didn't know where to stand in the goal. He went above him. He didn't go to his left. Yeah, where, where should his hands be? Above him. What do you guys think? It. Get in the comments. Is it Delcroix or is it Trafford? It's this Trafford. is Sean's thing, so he's going to put up on the list. Who are you putting up? Trafford. Race for Trafford. This is a rough game. Okay, 4 0. Brownhill doing a lock here. The absolute most effort, but his little starfish of a block. You're not doing anything with that. You're not fooling anyone. He's out of position. Trossard nets his brace. Arsenal make it five, and I understand there's going to be an element of tiredness. Mm -hmm. It is late on in the game. Yeah. But O'Shea just walking, and then when the goal goes in, just going to his knees for the tenders hands. Yeah, harsh you're giving. You can't be that tired. Yeah, no, no, no. Just, Delcroix okay. gets megged. Yeah, yeah, cool. Havertz is one of the best players of all time. You're gonna get <laughs> megged by that man. No, but the, just watching it, O'Shea is at fault because he's not helping him. Yeah, I understand that. He's, he's left him high and dry. This is your goal. You get to put this one on there. I think VAR needs to get involved in some of Sean's decisions, but element of tiredness maybe on Sean's part. Now, Tottenham Wolves, Tottenham zonal marking, leaving Gomez completely unmarked. I'm giving this to Saar. Not Jose Saar, he's at the other end. But PM Saar, because he's the only man that clocks Gomez on his own and gives it a little double. Checks Gomez is on his own. Cool. Again, yet still on his own. Gomez then scores. Like, I'm sorry. Do something about it. Tell someone. No one else is looking. I don't know what they've set up for in these corners. Apparently losing. 
Yes. With Spurs tactic, man. Now, I would love to give this to Wolves' Sar. Yep. But if there's someone else to blame, you can't blame the keeper. Correct. But Craig Dawson. What's he doing? What's he done? Oh, you're going to tell me. Now, Kulusevsky, absolute baller. Yep. But he's been made to look way too good here. <laughs> the toe poke. Cause, he took it early. Because <laughs> Dawson has put in, a, put in a slider challenge. Stood up. Managed to touch <laughs> the ball yeah. and not move it. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you guys will see it somewhere here. And it's like Kulusevsky gets a nice little touch with his left toe. Sar's not even slightly ready. But Dawson comes in and just tries to like ski stop. He's like stopping on skis. And doesn't yeah. he gets a small touch of the ball, doesn't move it. He gets full contact with the ball. Yeah, just doesn't you, do you'll see in the I don't know why I looked over there. Up you'll, above your head. Yeah, you'll see <laughs> up in here. The, up here somewhere. Yeah, you'll see in that video. Dawson gets full contact with the ball and it doesn't mm. move. No, bizarre. It's, now that being said, the Sumer's getting done here. Double in this one goal. Loses possession from his own corner. Then doesn't track back enough to keep up with Gomez. So you can see here that he's just running back, running back, slows down, slows down, realizes Gomez is there, really speeds up. But he's, he's out of time, out of luck, and out of points now, apparently. Tottenham doing Tottenham things three quarters of the way through the season. Might just be Wolves doing Wolves things. They don't even want European football next year. João Gomez is world class. Pedro. Neto. Yeah, he's good. Cunha. Oh. Wolves got a team. Front three, and they've got Wang as a support. Like, right. quality. Now, Newcastle Bournemouth. John, this is your first goal. I know exactly what you're going to say. Dubravka. Goal up. Next. No. What an unlucky slip. That he's goalie on ice. Grounds. <laughs> like Bambi on ice. But no, it's comedy gold. Like you love to see this. You do. And now we've got another one. A real if you give the penalty, you are at fault. What an unnecessary pen to give. I think Smith was just asked to test how stretchy the new Newcastle shirts were. Turns out, very. But usual rule. If you give the goal, leave Cher alone. Smith, go away. This goal should have been disallowed though. Why? Because Cher's offside. But they deemed it that he wasn't involved in play. Even though because he got fouled, the penalty was given. That's weird. So surely he is in play. I thought he was offside from the second part of the play after it was headed, before, like just after the foul. No, because so he's, he, came he, he's on the floor. How can he be offside? We'll have to go and check that. VAR, doing VAR things. Go on then, Sean, do it. Semenos. Now, there's one thing I hate with defenders. What's that? And it's when they just back up and back up and back up. Dunk does it a lot. Yeah. And when you, I get it when you're not that fast. It's mm. probably the safest option because you don't have to chase anyone down. Which is a big stand away. But Dan Byrne, how far do you want to go? Because obviously Semenyo shot from 20 yards out. Yeah. And it's a beautiful goal. The Bradford's never saved it. Not no fault for you. No, this isn't no fault for me because Dan Byrne is with him from the 40 yards. Yeah. And then backs up 20 yards. Doesn't mm. put a foot in, just keeps going backwards until like he sees his own goal line. Just, it's just tracking Semenyo, tracking, tracking, tracking. He tries to get this foot in and Semenya has just caught top class. It goes right under Dubravka's hand as well. It does, yeah. Shouldn't have gone in. All right, Dan Byrne, you're up on there. Just like Dan Byrne was up there last week. Mr. Cook, what are you doing, sir? First to slip last week. I know Kelly didn't do him many favours by just falling on his ass for no reason. But Cook literally passes this off and this is a tap-in. So, gave the points away. Matt Ritchie, man. On for 57 seconds and scored. <laughs> I believe it. Don't even know who he is and I'm wearing the badge. First goal in four years. There you go, well... Well done, you. Took him 57 seconds. And that brings us to Forest West Ham, where it looked like nothing was happening this whole game. And then suddenly out of nowhere, two goals that West Ham just buries West Ham. They're, they're not having a good time, Sean. Well, Forest were 1-0 in the first half. And then 2-0 up. Real late on. Real late on. But the first goal, it's classic for what's he doing. Come on. This man was once six weeks in a row <laughs> on what's he doing. He's never had a double, but yet he is top, joint top with Ahmed Hodzic. It's Nayef Agued for West Ham. This is harsh to give to Agued. He's, he's, he's covering his man. He's on the wrong side. He's on the wrong Alan side Nini. of his man. He's, he's trying. He's just sh He's just trying. What kind of defender shows the, their one striker onto his strong foot? Yeah, I know. But Zuma's just stood there watching. I've got to give a little bit of love to Zuma. Nah. When Zuma's... I say love, I mean, what the f*** are you doing? Zuma's not stood there watching. He's just stood, he stood three yards away going, oh, oh. Yeah, but the ball is played to Agued. The ball's played, yeah. All he had to do was step in front of him, but he just hugged the back of him. He did, yeah. Bad he's just, defender. He's just awful. Not very good defender. Good for Morocco, bad for West Ham. Funny that, because Agued, for me, has the brace here. Oh, he's taking the lead. <laughs> Nico Williams just hurting Agued's feelings with the disrespect now. Two weeks in a row, this man's been played round. First Saka, and now Williams. Sean, Williams has just popped his leg round Agued and dinked the ball from in front of him, round him. Like a, a crossover in basketball where he just reached behind and boom, boom. He's done that with his feet. And Aguez just stood there going, oh, oh no. 
and he's just watched it travel in. So Aguero is now at the top of the Ahmed Hodds list. Yeah. Which is now out and in full force. And Sean is going to make it all pretty and put it in next week's video. But we have got it. And uh, we've got a quiz that just come out on our, our last live stream with uh, Chelsea versus Man City. What game that was. And uh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> we did a whole thing on that. And it'll be on the next video. It'll be everywhere. So you guys will be able to see it. Who's the worst of the worst culprits in the Premier League so far this season? Now, moving on. Fulham Villa. Sean, who's up first? This one hurts me. It hurts me. Because Willian oh. shouldn't be getting blamed for defensive work. I know, I know. But what are you doing laying down on the edge of the box, mate? <laughs> Don't fall over. Don't get bodied. Don't pass it to them. What are you doing, sir? <laughs> like, he wanted to dribble it out from his own 18-yard line. Didn't he? And I love to see it. Hmm. Because I know Willian can do it. Yeah. Maybe 10 years ago. Maybe. <laughs> but instead, he just fell over and passed it to Ollie Watkins. He did. Which I'm pretty sure, I've done the research, Willian does not play for Aston Villa. No, he doesn't. <laughs> never has, never will. And shouldn't be helping them score. Now... It did make it worse for them because not too long after that, Diop's just found on the wrong side of, guess who? Yeah. Ollie Watkins. Yeah. Ollie Watkins just gone. Diop's well out of the line and he's just, he can't do anything. He can't catch up with him. Ollie Watkins is on fire. You can see his little legs do the Scooby Doo circles as soon as he's one on one as well. He's just burying this every time. Don't do it again. What are you doing? What have you done? Who's the next one for you? Clement Longley. He's Longley. Clement Longley. Need longer legs, boy. This guy's on loan from Barcelona. Yeah. Club on long there. Really? Yeah. And he couldn't shield a man half his size. Yeah. Pathetic. Yeah. He's got to go home. He's not getting another game. For Barcelona, Barcelona ain't going back. <laughs> Barcelona aren't paying you. They don't even pay their best players. Now, a game we were far more excited for was Man City versus Chelsea. Full live stream available on the channel somewhere linked here. Dreams nearly came true for Chelsea. First up, Walker getting munched. Raheem Sterling probably said to Poch before the game, put me on coach. I know how to undo him. Okay. Leave me on the left. I'll just do him every time. I guarantee a goal. I don't know where he's from, but he's clearly not. That's not his accent. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he uh, he twisted Walker up. Walker got absolutely sent. He did a he did a Canate. You can't do that. He's just gone sliding past, get the cut back. And Sterling's pepped it straight past Edison. Edison played an absolute blind of this game. Could have been 3-0, 4-0 to us before Haaland eventually figured out how to shoot properly. But he didn't get the goal, did he, Sean? Nope. Who did? Rodri did. With a thunderbolt. This is a harsh what's he doing, I think. Who did you give it? I have this down as Chalabar. I gave it to Cassidy. Why? Because he's in the box, but he doesn't know where to be in the box. He should be on Rodri, but he's just sort of in space. Okay. So you're looking really hyper-analytical. He's so more... I'm looking at the guy that just deflected it over. He's in an attacking position, whereas he should be in a defensive position. Cassidy. Okay. You think he gives the space? I, like he He's in so much space that it looks like Man City would cross to him and he'd shoot. Yeah. But he's, he's not near anyone else. Oh, so he's not actually pressing. And then the ball gets to Rodri and he's like, oh no, get out of the way, basically. And well, he's got, going, well, sort, on, sort of just puts like half a leg into it to make it look like he's tried something. It's a, it's an attempt. I appreciate it. But... Okay. You don't think Petrovic gets to it if it doesn't deflect off? No. Okay, well, fair enough. Short and sweet for Chelsea versus Man City, but we take the points against the champions. You know what else is short and sweet? That's Sean. Subscribing to my YouTube channel. And it's free as well. It doesn't cost a penny. The, on. Red, the red one down there. The red one just here. Where's, where's he put it? Where's he put it, Sean? Where's he put it. Oh, he's, he's, he's put it there. That's long. Okay, and the one we've been waiting for. Are they on there? We don't know. Sheffield United, Brighton, Holgate. I know, this isn't a red card channel. We don't care about them. But this is a thigh high stud challenge. And he complained about maybe going. Best tackle. This is ridiculous. This is. He didn't want Matoma. This is fresh playing. out of Mortal Kombat. This is knee height. This is thigh height. This, his studs go in at, at like halfway up. Yeah, but Matoma's short, so it's normal, normal human yeah, maybe. <laughs> Average British male knee height. This is Hobbit head height. Come on. Taking off dwarf scalps with this challenge. Okay, it's just bedlam for Sheffield. Every goal that sort of goes in is just like, who on earth? Like, this is Osula. Osula's their striker. And this, how, how it goes in off him. He stood on the line. The ball hits him. It goes into the roof of the net. Then it's a scramble. No one knows if it's gone in. Like, it took me ages to realise who he was and see the number on his bloody shorts. But Osula, what are you doing? What's well, done? Get out of the way. You're not a defender. You don't know how to defend. Get out the other end of the pitch, and when you eventually get the ball, try not to miss. I gave that one to Wes. It's a Podringham. Yeah. Nah, sorry, I can't give it to that. Osula, probably the only goal he's going to score for the rest of the season. An own goal? It wasn't an own goal. It was on target, but <laughs> he still touched it. Last person to get in the net. Who's the next one going to, Sean? What an accent. Who's the next one going to, Sean? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Vinny Souza. For the life of me, I don't know how you've got to this, so explain. There is just no attempt to stop Welbeck. He's just stood behind him. 
Oh, right. It's like the Dar O'Shea one, hmm. where the camera, when it's behind them, you can't see Welbeck because Souza <laughs> stood directly behind <laughs> yeah. it. There's no attempt. He's just stood there. Yeah. Defend. Do something. Like, don't get stuck in the mud. Don't get caught ball watching. Don't do both things. Even right. if it's get red carded. Definitely okay. list worthy. Just... Definitely list worthy. Dive in front of the ball. Two foot, right. back of the legs. Show Fodring how to do it. Okay. Goal, 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 goal. Robinson, wrong net. Like, what a finish, though. It makes it easy for us. The stretch. Did you see this? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. The stretch. Bundesliga. Yeah, that's an easy one, isn't it? Robinson, what are you doing? What have you done? Great finish. Oh, Score on the other net, please. Don't. I love Sheffield United conceded. Stop making it easy. No, because now Ahmed Hodzic hasn't been up yet. Oh, he will. He can't, he can't get up. He will at some point. If not today. It's Ahmed Hodzic. He can't help himself. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know who else can't help themselves? Who can't help themselves? Back-to-back weeks now. Osborne, he's just watching a dingra run away from him. He's, his eyes are not on the ball at all. He's watching a dingra and he just watches him run away from him and doesn't move. It's a smooth move. Get him on the list. And then good old trusty, back on the list. Unlucky deflection. But the two big boys managed to swerve the list this week. No Fodderingham, no Ahmed Hodzic. But trusty, you can always trust that he'll be there. A new leader of the Ahmed Hodzic list. Ahmed Hodz list. Aguered, 12, 12 faults. 12 so far in one season. 12 goals he is single-handedly responsible for. That's pretty mad. Yeah, well, West Ham. Gotta get rid of him. <clears throat> Luton United. Luton United. Oh, that brings us to Luton United I love for the third game. time. Sean, you're up first. Did you say you like this game? Yeah, I love this game. Why did you like this game? Because it just proved that United will win the league this season. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Richard say. They are not going to win nothing. It's Amari Bell. Yeah. The, Brilliant assist. It was a great assist, wasn't Horrendous it? Horrendous defending because there's not a single Luton player there. Yeah, I don't know who's passing to. The only player he could have passed to there was Hoyland or Garnacho. Yeah. <laughs> or the keeper. It's, no, but he passed it left. Mm. He didn't pass it to the keeper. He passed it across. Yeah, I saw. If he'd have passed it right, he had a player there. Yeah. But instead he went left and he's got Hoyland, Garnacho, and then Osho's back here. Well, it was, I think he was trying to hit Osho, but maybe he was trying to. He was pretending he was on like a forward run. If Rasmus managed to shout on your left and he passed it to him. Yeah. Genius. That's just rude. Because Bell then stops running and mm. Osho has to sprint. Yeah. But Amari Bell, mate. World class assist. Horrendous defender. It's not not great. Not great. And the second goal, Sean, off of his chest. Uh, it looked deliberate as well. He can see it roll, rolling at him and he looks like he's given it the old Ronaldo la hua, like to try and hook it in. Maybe he's just flinched. That's them. Very well, you reckon? Balls hit him hard. You reckon? Ball hit chest hard. Yeah. Has no chest. Bounced off like snooker cue. Like, like snooker thing. All right, fine. Just, Still, ooh. no fault for me. Garnacho, great shot. No one here really to give it to. It goes out like a normal corner. Everyone's in the right place. No one's playing him on side. It's unlucky from everyone. Maybe Kaminsky dive and not rely on the offside flag, but I'm not giving it to him for that. I mean, it is like split second. You can't. Yeah, it's just a full volley. Hoyland at the double again. Dub, 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 dub. But Man United's Ahmed Hodzic getting on the list. What, Onana? No, Maguire. Nah, it's not Maguire. This is Maguire. Onana. into into Colton Morris. I don't care. Onana, leave the star jumps at home. <laughs> leave them in primary school. Grown men don't do star jumps. <laughs> but this is not even a, an attempt at a save. Is it not? No. He jumps like a starfish. He just tries to make himself big. That's his job. Putting your arms out like this and your legs spread. That's just making big. When the ball is... Less than a yard away from him yeah. is not making yourself big. It should have been more direct towards the ball, perhaps. But big. I don't know, maybe sideways. That'd be, <laughs> that, that'd be big. Not make yourself as slim as possible in the middle where the ball is. Yeah, well, he's unlucky. I gave this to Maguire, but it's a short bit small. How do you go from De Gea to Andre Onana? Really don't like Onana. Not in this game. It's, I'm happy to last in this game. game. Yeah. But, you know, it might have been great for us. All right, and that brings us to Palace versus Everton. This game had everything. Uh, finished a draw. This game was... As most Palace games are. Now, Palace went ahead first. And Sean, for me, no fault. Screamer. Screamer. There's maybe, if you're being picky, Onana. But there's nothing he could do. Mm. You know, He's I, in the right place. I don't know what I'm doing with my voice, but it's changed. Is it Robert De Niro? It's like I'm doing an Australian accent, but in my English voice. I don't think you should be doing that. Cause... Neither do I. It's weird. But now my hands are stuck doing this. There we are. There we are. Hello. Bringing us to our final goal. Sean, who's on the list for the last What's He Doing? Game Week 25. Uh, 48 hours. What's He Doing? We don't blame keepers. So this one's Sam Johnston. Okay. Uh, the keeper. The keeper. <laughs> now he comes to punch the ball clear. 
Mm -hmm. And you've got a big problem with keepers when they come to bunch the ball clear and they miss the ball. Yes. If he'd have stayed on his line, he'd have saved it. This is fair because we give this to Trafford a lot because Trafford loves running out and missing a corner. But he's come to punch the ball. He's punched Tarkowski mm -hmm. and Onana's just headed it into an open net. And he's a large man. Yeah, can't say any more than that. That's it for this week's What's He Doing? What's He Done? Sean? Yes. If you like the video, like the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Let's Leave a comment what we should call the Ahmed Hodds list now that Aguerd's top.